Singing Grasses and Tarzan Vines by Asha Nehemiah Over a year ago, Malupati discovered a formula for a type of hair oil that would make hair grow even on bald heads. Named Wonder Grow Supersonic Hair Tonic, this oil was due to be presented at the World Herbologist Conference held at Mona Baba Herbal Research Laboratory in Mona Shrimpur. One has to cross the dark waters of Kashmakash River and travel past the Vankolli Molli forest on a wild pony to reach Mona Shrimpur. Pati's grandchildren, 12-year-old Laila and 10-year-old Vix, also accompany her along with her 18-year-old assistant, Damu. Two thieves plan to steal the formula from Pati. Khabardar, one of the thieves, posing as a ferryman, tries to drown Pati and the children in the river. He leaves them to their fate and runs away in a motorboat. The Vankolli Molli forest offered the most amazing sights. Colourful mushrooms, flowers that looked like translucent balloons and bushes laden with juicy berries in shades of purple, blue and red. But staying steady on the ponies with all the luggage was not an easy job. Without reins and saddles, they seemed at a risk of sliding down over the bumpy path. You are a genius, Pati. Your idea of making a concentrated version of Wonder Grow Supersonic Hair Tonic to apply to the ponies' manes was absolutely brilliant. Pati warned the children that they could end up falling into poison ivy or could get thrown up next to a hive of behemoth bees if they loosen their grip. She tells them then, I made a concentrated version of Wondergrew so that I could carry it in one tiny bottle small enough to be tugged into the purse at my waist. It's extremely concentrated. I had to use just a few drops on each pony. Look, the bottle is still almost full. If you ask me, this concentrated version makes hair grow at a real supersonic speed. I think my pony's mane is longer already. Just then, Lila spots the two thieves that had earlier tried to drown them. Oh my gosh, Pati! Look! It's those two jelly bellies. Those two table tummies. Those wicked men who tried to drown us. That boatman called Khabardar and his friend. The two men were fast asleep on the long grass. As Pati wondered how the thieves had reached the forest, she couldn't stop her eyelids from drooping with drowsiness. She knew this sleepiness was just the effect of the dreaded singing grasses. Looking at her yawning, Damu started singing tables of seven loudly to serve a distraction and urged Leila and Vix also to talk and sing loudly. Baba Blasheep His loud singing startled his pony who took off at a fast trot. This sudden movement so distracted Pati that she didn't look out for the Tarzan wine. Suddenly, she felt herself being clasped around the waist. Whisked through the air, she was released on something as soft as a waterbed. She had been carried by the Tarzan wine and thrown right onto the sleeping Khabardar. I, the old woman, I drowned her. She has returned as a ghost to haunt me. Help! Help! Shoo! Shoo! His yelling woke up his accomplice. E help! Where's my bag? I have a gun. The word gun brought back Pati's attention. She fumbled in the silk purse and reached for the only weapon she had. 
the bottle of concentrated wonder grow supersonic hair tonic she opened it and flung the liquid onto their faces as the two men tried to rub the chocolate colored liquid off their faces pati ran towards the waiting children but they had another set of problems to face their ponies had run away out of fear pati damu and the children now sat crouched on the path with different scraps and pieces of clothing covering their heads and arms as protection from the porcupine cacti ouch she winced as she removed a thorn shot into her arm she wondered how they would cross this part of the forest without getting thorns up their noses arms legs and eyes damu's shoulders were aching he eased the back of his shoulders and it dropped with a clang the pomegranate cedar ginger grater and the spinach oil strainer dropped out of the bag pati handed the big strainer to wix and the smaller ones to laila the grater was used by damu to cover his face pati used the cane basket over her head this way swathed with layers of clothing wearing pots and baskets over their heads pati and their children got safely past the porcupine cacti so video about the thing la ma so you can show you full understand it sir full understand it sir ma so fine so our book la edutha the stories la undu read panni paaru okay la there are lot of new words in this la ma okay la nariya new words la ma irukku so na so adala read panni paathu the new words la underline panni padinga okay la ma so and the don't forget the names and the names la thume marandra okay la character names are put on the place today names are put on அதே நேம் மறந்துடாதீங்க 